ATI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing, well, Alpha 9. We're going to do an arid start. I know we just got uh, our base kind of set up in the temp temperate start, um, but I don't like the behavior of the drone base turret relationship still they still don't have that fine tune my my turrets shooting at drones have they only initiate until the drone is about 20 meters away from the from the turret and then all of them activate at once it's it's glitched it's bugged it lets drones fly right over them right into my base and shoot at me before they even start to shoot at them so like it they don't even activate half the time until until I'm already being shot at. <laughs> it's, ugh. You know what? I'm done with that. I'm done with that. We, we tested it. It doesn't work the way I like to. So we're not going to be doing that portion of the game. We're not going to be doing base turrets this scenario. Um, so this seed looks good. Uh, I like the name of the planet too. Man Mohen. Uh, we're going to go with a large size this time with to give us some more POI. Uh, okay, custom settings. Basically hard everything except construction speed is set to fast and resources are rich and plenty. And why did it change the... What the heck? That was weird. Uh, what are we calling this again? Arid. An arid, um, stable? Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's our settings. Let's go. <clears throat> so, supposedly there's a new, uh, modified version of the tutorial that they want us to try out specifically for the arid start. So we'll, we'll try that. Not that we need it. And because we're on hard settings, it's probably not going to be 100% appropriate. Uh, we probably won't have gear that it tells us to use right off the bat and stuff like that. So we'll see. Okay, there's some water right over there. There's, oh, nice. Nice water right there. And it looks like all the plant life is like right here. And there's water right there. So let's Yeah, and there's some there's some surface rocks. Yeah, I wonder if we can actually hit like a critter. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's so close. Okay, so here we go. Oh, uh, greetings, Commander. I'm Ida, IDA Integrated Datapad Assistant. Uh, da -da -da, vitals activated your health and food levels. Do you want to follow it? Yes. Let's go. Open PDA, F1. Okay. PDA log files, your, yeah, yeah, mission, yeah, yeah. Okay, all that fun stuff. Let's, I'm just going to go into third person view for this. I know it swings the inventory around quite a bit. And what does it want to do? Consume energy bar and the health pack. Okay. Let's, uh, Let's start picking stuff. We'll turn our jetpack on. And it wants us to select the survival tool, which is right here. Okay. Let's start picking stuff. Place O2 condenser. Yeah, well, I'm on hard start. I didn't get one, so. 
You're just gonna have to wait until I make one. Okay, so we do need to make get that going like right away. So let's get some get some stuff to make that with. We've got some stones here. We'll just pick these up real quick. Okay. Right click, select drill. Nice. My rock. And some copper. We'll get the copper. Okay, let's let's see how what it takes to make that. We'll start making it right now. That way it's done when we need it. Some more copper over here. Really what we're aiming for is third level. Because we gotta unlock the survival constructor to be able to make biofuel. Because without power fuel the O2 condenser does nothing. I'm assuming they probably give you the condenser and biofuel to start if you are doing like a medium or easier start. I would assume that's part of the starting equipment. <clears throat> well, we didn't do that. We decided to do a hard start. Wow. Construction speed is set to fast, so if it's not truly a 100% hard start, it'll have a hard start flavor to it, though, that's for sure. Nice couple of rocks here. Now, I don't want to get myself too weighed down with weight restrictions enabled. I could potentially screw myself, so. Okay, we'll grab this one tree here. In defense mode with the survival tool, we can cut down trees. We got one log. Wow, okay. Okay. Let's see if there's any silicone right here. Looks like it. And seaweed too. Good. And it's starting to get cooking hot anyway, so it's probably an appropriate time to actually... Can't shoot this underwater. Okay. That's not it. Rock drill. There we go. Okay, so let's... Pick some seaweed. Try and hit level three. You know what? I don't need my don't need my survival tool with me. That's just gonna slow me down, me and having that equipped. Can we pick this stuff? Yep. Can't pick that one for some reason. That's fine. Okay. Get all this stuff. No, did we? Yeah, it's ready to go. That's good. I really need, really need level three here. Really, really badly. I think I only just dinged to level two, didn't I? This should be a pretty quick way of getting XP. All the vegetation is fairly close to each other, right? Makes for fast picking. Lots of plasma. OK, 
Okay. Come on, level three. Come on, level three. We're going to have to take some of our O2 that we have with us pretty quick here. That's fine. That's why we have it. Yeah, let's do that. How's our... Okay, so we have enough for that. So where, where are we at with our... Oh, we're almost level three. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Should be just a few more of these seaweed. Come on. There we go. Level three. Okay, so where are we on the map? Right there. Uh, we're going to need some wood and stuff, so let's go this way. Grab some of this stuff as we leave, just to give us a little bit more XP. Okay, so those things right here are wood. So let's learn the uh miscellaneous here we go we're going to learn the portable constructor we're going to learn the portable healer and then we're going to make it so we're going to make the portable constructor and then what else can we make we can make like a little bit of food here Okay, let's keep doing stuff as that's cooking. Speaking of cooking, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, can we zap this? Okay, let's just put down the condenser right here for now. And then just waiting for the, yeah, okay. So did we not grab the O2 out of the, that's fine. Okay, this is built, so let's put this down. And we're going to get the bio going on it. Let's get one of those. Uh, yeah, we'll just do one of those for now. I don't think... Yeah, I need one more silicone, one more copper to actually do anything. So I think what we'll do then is we can probably get two of these going. How much do they weigh? 20. How much does that weigh? Nothing. Oh, let's get that going. Let's get that going. We'll eat some of this. Take some more of our O2. And let's see if that's ready. It is. So let's put this in here. Okay, so that's going to run for 14 minutes, giving us oxygen. And just got to wait for the portable heater cooler. It's cooking right now. So we need a lot more copper. We need a little bit of silicone. Let's go get what we need. Let's go get what we need. So there's some copper here. And it is cooking hot. Oh, I 
thought I saw some copper up here. Iron. Okay. Come back! Okay. Let's keep... Nope, the temperature's coming down. Doesn't look like we're in a big immediate rush to get the heater cooler out. But we will grab the... We will put the stuff in here. Don't need that crap. Don't need that. Okay. Uh, now, did we make... Is that ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, how's that doing? And... Good. Okay. Let's make some food. Get some more of that cooked up. Okay. We need silicone. We should be able to... There's probably some over here. We just couldn't see it. Look in the water. I don't see any. That doesn't mean there isn't. What are they doing? They're acting weird is what they're doing. Okay, I don't want any part of their weird love triangle there. Oh nice, the temperature just came down. Nice! Nice! Okay, silicone. Need a silicone. It should be over in the water here. What the heck? I don't see any. Let's try down here. Come on, silicone. Where are you? I know you're in water. It's just, this is really steep water, so it's... I don't think it has the appropriate place to spawn, because it doesn't have the beach that it needs. There's no beach. It just goes right from sand to, yeah, that's why. That's why. That's fine. Let's jump in here. And let's get that. I don't need that. Okay. Let's just go grab some O2. I mean, I guess I can smash a bunch of rocks. Silicone is about the easiest to make out of rocks. But okay, emergency O2 bottles. One of those, and we'll turn that into emergency O2. Uh, like it wants. Okay. Uh, what else does it need? Heater cooler. So I already made one. So is it wanting us to make one then? Yeah. Oh no. Just pick it up. Pick it up, put it down. Okay, that's fine. Boom. Boom. And thank you. 
And what is that? That is the wreckage. Okay. And why is there wreckage 15 kilometers over? We got two wreckage? Well, I'm going to choose the close one. That's kind of weird. I don't know why it did that. Huh. Okay. And we got 85 seconds for the next water. Hmm. But that one, that wreckage. Okay, so you know what? I think what we need to do is we need to make a motorcycle to get over there, right? What do we need then? We need we need more stone and we need silicone and we need copper. Okay. Stone and silicone and copper. So stone. And we already know there's no silicone over there. I don't know why I'm going over there. Although it only it's only gonna take a few rocks to make the silicone. What we really need is the copper, because that's that's really expensive to make out of stone. I'd rather not bother. Okay. We're kind of landlocked here to this O2 condenser right now, though. Um, you know what? It just started that. Let's let's pick up our stuff, and we'll take it with us. Map. Fine. Need a copper. And we're gonna have to put this O2 down pretty quick here. There's copper up there. Let's just set up temporarily right here. And oh crap, I don't have I don't have any maid. Uh-oh. Let's get that made. Get that going. We can eat some. That means we can make some more here. Uh Okay, let's grab, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll grab this. Okay, <sighs> we need a little bit of silicone. We could do it with crushed stone. Let's make the motorcycle. I know we're doing this out of sequence, but I need the motorcycle. Okay, let's get the O2 going because we're going to die if we don't. Okay, so let's keep picking up stuff. Come on. And 
And we're just going to go around and grab some of the stuff without, without angering the crickets. No angry crickets. you doing? <clears throat> Haven't even made one yet. Jeez. Huh. Well. That sucks. It's a little slower than I'd hoped for. Huh. How's this? That's done. Okay. Let's put that there then. Um, we need another O2 because this is too slow. This is too slow. So let's do that. We're going to need another one of those. Yep. And let's put this in here and get biofuel making. Okay. Okay, we're kind of stuck here because of the O2 situation. So we'll make the best of it. We'll get what we can while it's making O2. Okay. Well, we're still alive, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Oh, what was that? Oh, nasty. Fire f falling from the sky. Well, I'm sure Chicken Little would have something to say about that. The sun's starting to go down. That means we're going to have nasties coming out. It's probably a really good time to jump on the motorcycle and cruise to the wreckage, though, because it'll be nice and cool out. Okay, we got to get over to our O2. I just realized how low I was. <laughs> oh my. Oh man, just a water bottle? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. We gotta get this down too. Come on. Yeah, I... I got no choice. I got to put both of these down. Damn, I didn't want to get locked here. <sighs> didn't want to get locked here, but we got no choice. We got no choice. Got to do it. Darn. Yeah, we are totally locked here. Okay. Well, that's okay. We've got two of them going now, so now we should be able to start keeping up with the consumption. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my. Are you kidding me? We're going to die. Why is this so slow? I thought I set the construction speed to fast. And... No, you, you leave us alone. You're going to try and mate with me, so just, no. Oh. We're going to start suffocating. Ah.
Huh. <laughs> okay, so at least both of these are going now. I can't really stray too far. I'm really locked here. Darn it. And this guy needs to go away. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to utilize the escape pod and lots of that. That's all going to spoil. Let's crank that up. Let's crank that up. Try and make as much as possible out of that. And we're going to sleep for the night. Oh, how do we do that? Left shift. Nice. Okay, so now we should have... See, these have ran out. Oh, and this guy's getting lippy with me all of a sudden? Really? Come on! <laughs> Get the hell away from my stuff, buddy. He's going to attack me, too. That's the problem. Okay, let's just grab it. Oh, come on! See, he's coming after me. He's coming after me. This is bullcrap. <laughs> Leave my bloody gear alone. Yeah, he's coming after me, isn't he? Okay, let's train him over here. Try and get him stuck behind something. Yeah, he's totally coming after me. Look at this. What the heck? There, maybe I broke him. Maybe I untrained him off me. Yeah, he 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 was really jonesing for me. Okay, God, freaking shenanigans. Just trying to get out of here and ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, everything spoiled. Even my. Bars. Wow, how did they spoil? I don't get that. How did they spoil? Okay. Let's pick that up too. Okay. And we'll grab this. Pick that up. 366. Okay. Um. But these are okay, because, yeah, because I spun them all up. I'm glad I did that. Excellent. Okay. Good. Well, let's make our way over to the wreckage then. That might be the first time I've actually used the escape pod to sleep in. I know there's lots of rocks and stuff we need to get, but I want to get to the wreckage before it starts getting too hot. Yeah, see, it's already, it's already just cooking. Just cooking here. That's okay. <clears throat> And there's the wreckage. And we're getting deposits all over the place, too. Look at that. Excellent. And here we go. There's stuff around. Okay. We'll finish up the episode by checking out the loot items from Personal Cargo Box. And there we have it. We can't grab everything, can we? We might be able to. Yep. There we go. And the fiber. We'll leave those in there. You know what? Can we... Volume of zero. I don't think it lets us put anything in there that has volume. Volume. Yeah, see, we can only put stuff in there that only has mass. 
no volume because it has a volume of zero. And those don't have any volume. We can just leave those in there. Everything else has volume. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got to get our gear down. We got to get our gear down. So let's set up here. Let's get our stuff down. I don't know what it's going to want us to do. Unlock portable constructor. Did that. Craft the portable constructor. Place constructor. Uh, craft biofuel. We need to do that. Let's just get everything in here. And we'll get that craft and biofuel. And then get biofuel in here. One for there. And one for there. Okay, if we need to, we can throw down our heater cooler, craft portable constructor. So we're going to finish that portion manually because we've already done that. And then it'll complete as soon as the biofuel is done. There we go. Okay. Now, realistically, what we should do is probably make a drill. Let's see what it wants us to do next. Mine and pick up rocks. So, yeah, let's let's make a drill. Let's cancel this. And yeah, we're going to make a drill. Okay, guys. Uh, this is a good start. I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, next episode will continue on. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.